Arsenal reportedly told Atletico Madrid that they will not pay Thomas Partey's release clause after seeing a swap deal offer rejected as they continue to try and negotiate for the player. Atletico have been quite clear that they will not sell the Ghanaian for less than his release clause. However, that has not stopped the Gunners from trying to get the deal done. Ahead of the summer transfer window, Partey was identified as a top target by the Arsenal board. He ticks a lot of boxes for Mikel Arteta and crucially has a wealth of experience in the Champions League. Partey is currently stalling on a new contract with Atletico Madrid that has given Arsenal hope that he would be open to a move to North London. The 27-year-old is also a boyhood Gunners fan and is looking to test himself in the Premier League having spent the majority of his career in Spain. However, according to Fabrizio Romano, Arsenal have been informed that they will only be able to sign Partey if they pay his release clause. The position of Atletico Madrid is so clear, he told Lee Gunner in a YouTube QA. I know so well the board at Atletico Madrid. They also did this in the past when many clubs asked them for other players if they had a top player and Thomas is a top player. You have to pay what we want and that is the release clause. So you have to pay 50 million euros or you don't get the player. I am told that two or three weeks ago Arsenal told the Atletico Madrid board they are not going to pay the release clause. At the moment there is indication they will pay the release clause and they want to negotiate. They offered, Matteo, Gendazzi in the deal and Atletico said no. So at the moment there is no agreement but there is an opportunity to sign the player because Thomas wants to go to Premier League. Arsenal looks set to offload Gendazzi and there has been talk he could join Lyon as part of a swap deal for House Semewa. The player is yet to feature for the Gunners in pre-season, despite Mikel Arteta claiming he would be handed another chance in the first team after being asked to train alone. Gendutzi was involved in a spat with Brighton's Neil Morpay last season, an incident that Arteta did not stand for.